Tight bond wood glues, quietly keeping woodworking projects together for over 70 years. Hi, I'm Ernie Conover, and this month I would like to continue talking about the use of super glue in wood turning. I have often said that I can turn anything if I can just get it chucked in my lathe. Let's take a look at how we can uh, employ this very useful glue in chucking things in our lathe. Often simply called CA glue, it comes in three viscosities or thicknesses. Medium is the glue that I use the most of. It is great for gluing any two parts together, so is great for general repairs or for gluing something to a glue block, and so it becomes an inexpensive chuck. While the general glue will dry in a matter of minutes, with the addition of some activator sprayed into the joint before you assemble. Uh, this glue will dry in seconds. Throughout history, turners have turned bowls from green wood. And as long as you don't have a complete annular ring in the blank you turn the bowl from, uh, that checking uh, won't be a huge problem. However, you will end up with a bowl that is oval rather than round. Many uh, people do not like this, and a solution is simply to turn the bowl rough to a rather thick wall, about 10% the diameter, and then allow it to dry for about three months, at which point it will become oval like this one. And you then chuck it up in the lathe and return it. I turned this one on 92109, so it's good and dry. A few minutes ago, I went to my bench and with a hand plane, I brought this base of the bowl or foot dead level with a hand plane. I then mounted this piece of ash on a face plate and turned it perfectly round. I now will turn a, a tenon on the end of this that perfectly fits inside of this recess that we originally turned the bowl from. We will then glue the two parts together. We will actually scrape the tenon with a diamond pointed scraper, like so. And now we'll put just a little chamfer on the end of that tenon we're creating there and see if our bowl will drop over that. We're not quite there, close. We'll now take a little bit more off and I'll take just the distance of the chamfer away and put another chamfer on there like that. And by doing this, I'll be able to reduce this tenon a little bit at a time until it fits. We'll now ensure that this is dead flat on the shoulder. It's actually a little crown to the center, so I'm going to now just straighten that right out like so. Now it's level. It's very important that that be absolutely flat right around there and that that drops over just like so. It doesn't have to be a perfect fit. There's actually about a 30 second of play in there. That's fine. It's close enough. It's the fact that these two level surfaces mate is the important thing. This is just a centering tool. I've placed my watch on the headstock so you can see this in real time. I will now take some medium viscosity cyanoacrylate glue, CA glue, super glue, all the same thing. I've applied a little around the tenon and I'm now going to splice some activator on the bowl. I will now simply Press those together like so. I'm going to give this about 30 seconds by the clock. And there we are. And it should run pretty true. Go to town. There you can see that uh, this uh, chucking method uh, stands up to uh, the rigors of turning uh, quite handily. 
And actually in classes, uh, I get less uh, bowls thrown off of the lathe with glue blocks than I do with uh, four jaw chucks. Uh, give it a try. It's a nice inexpensive way to chuck and gives very solid assured chucking. Remove your finished bowl from the face plate. You just take a parting tool and we're parting in here into the glue block with the edge of the parting tool being on the glue line. And there we've sort of parted under. And now with just a couple of light taps that came right off the lathe and we can now turn, reverse chuck this and uh, turn a base as normal.